Hey guys, welcome to the Lenscap Chronicles. My name is Amanda and welcome to sunny Dubai. This video is for all of you who are trying to find somewhere close to the Dubai International Airport Someone who's here on a conference, on a quick girls getaway, somewhere you want to be right nearby the airport on your final day to eliminate all that hassle of traveling around Dubai, the crazy street networks and the intense traffic, which we all know here is a pain and we hate. <laughs> so stay tuned if that's you and you want something quick, easy, with a huge variety of restaurants, entertainment, three pools including a fitness lap pool and just general good vibes keep watching because this is the hotel for you welcome to the La Meridian Hotel and Conference Center For the next few days I'll be staying at this hotel which has come to be one of my absolute favourites. I've stayed here a few times now and so when I found myself back in Dubai for four nights it was my easy first choice. I'm going to show you all the features that in my opinion make it the most relaxing, well-rounded, comprehensive and fun hotel that you could possibly stay at that's near the airport. Firstly, let's talk size. This hotel is not a boutique hotel. Actually, it's nestled within 15 hectares of beautiful gardens, perfectly manicured, and this five-star hotel definitely delivers. It's not boutique, but it is very intimate, and there's a sense where you'll feel closed off with your own privacy, but at the same time, there's a buzzing atmosphere as soon as you set out into the main shared areas. <laughs> It's not in the very heart, it's close to the airport. So it's perfect, it's only a 30 minute taxi ride to get to places like the Palm and it's only 15 minutes from downtown Dubai. Think the Burj Khalifa, tallest building in the world, Dubai Mall, largest mall in the world, the amazing restaurants around there, the hottest beach clubs, which are 10 to 20 minutes away, the fireworks display, all of those amazing things. <laughs> So today I checked in really early and yes, there is a check-in early fee. It was roughly 250 dirhams, something like that. But that meant that I arrived on my international flight at 6 a.m. and I could just come straight to my room. That's dependent on availability, but it suited me so well because you can't really help the time that you're coming in on your flight. Another hot tip for staying here is to sign up for the Marriott Bonvoy app. So this chain of hotels, this collection of hotels, is owned by Marriott Group. And if you sign up, then you'll get some great discounts on the room price, as well as food and beverage during the course of your stay. So it's definitely worth signing up for, and you can do that online. For people staying here, there are really two options in terms of the buildings that you might want to stay. And interestingly, there's not a lot that differentiates them in terms of cost. I'd actually booked a deluxe room, which is usually on the second floor. The way that the Meridian is set out is that there are two floors and you can stay on the bottom, which will have pool access through the back door of your hotel room, or you can stay on the top floor, which has got nicer views of the pool. I've stayed in both. I really love the second floor for its views and it's really nice just to see people enjoying their lives out of the pool and just the lovely view of the palm trees but it's actually in my opinion worth getting the upgrade to the pool access room because you can literally just walk around in your swimwear i know that sounds crazy in the middle east but you don't have to cover up to go back into the main hotel entry and then to your room you can just literally walk around through some very secluded uh, well positioned bush hedges to your back door and enter that way so it just eliminates a lot of the hassle of getting redressed it's very quick it's just a really nice available option here 6 40 a.m in dubai at meridian and we are going on a walking tour nice and early past some of the other rooms with pool access because it's already 35 degrees now and this is what you can expect if you get a pool access room they all back onto this gorgeous pool it's not quite open yet for business but absolutely beautiful during the day to the bar 
bathroom and we've got these gorgeous robes to complement the fluffy slippers in the cupboard and a jacuzzi. Admit, I have used this before, so the lovely staff will come and fill this up with ice if you so desire. So you can put your bottle of wine in there and take it out to the patio and have a nice little glass of you know, and who wouldn't want to do that? The other section of the hotel that was offered to me at check-in was actually around in the club rooms and this is a relatively new building uh, which has got huge rooms. It's the deluxe creme de la creme apart from the family or penthouse suites. Now because I arrived so early at 6am and because I knew I'd be making this video I asked them if they could show me the club room and it is big, it's very open, very light and spacious. I did find that it was a little bit separated from the main area, the main pools. I think it would be perfect if you're coming here with a family or a loved one and you just want complete peace and quiet. It's very quiet. It overlooks the airport so you'll get these beautiful sunrises but it doesn't have a hotel resort feature so it doesn't look out over the pool for example which I really like that. I really like to see the palm trees and the place that I'm staying in. One good thing about the club rooms is that you do, from various viewpoints, have a view across to the Burj Khalifa, the famous tallest building in the world, at least it is right now, but only from some of the main corridor areas within the complex. Now one thing to note if you do take on one of these rooms is that there isn't an actual lock to that back door. I was greeted with a little bit of a look of craziness when I asked if I could have a lock for the door. Um, the reason being in Dubai and the UAE it is so safe here and the penalties for crime and uh, theft are extreme so no one's willing to risk it. Plus there is CCTV everywhere. so. They gave me a bit of a strange look. Why does this girl need to have a lock on her door? <laughs> That's just how safe it is here. One of my favorite parts of this hotel has got to be the pool and there are three of them. But my favorite one has got a little bridge arch over it and has a swim up bar. It's very social. I'm here alone at the moment, so it's gonna be the perfect opportunity to just go and chill. I can sit there and read a book if I want to, or I can go to the bar and I'm likely gonna chat and meet someone. It's surrounded by palm trees. There are a lot of sun lounges, some shade if you need it. And it's a really nice size, so it's not too crammed. Everyone's not sitting on top of each other. But at the same time, there's that option to chat and mingle if you like. The other major reason to choose Le Meridian Hotel and Conference Centre is the wide, diverse array of restaurants that they have. There are between 16 and 18 listed on their website and these cover all types of international cuisines from Indian, Lebanese, Italian, Spanish tapas, uh, there's a beef charcuterie, there's a seafood restaurant where you can literally go in and check from a live buffet which option you would like. There's a raucous Irish pub, there is literally everything here, it's so wonderful. Here we are entering warehouse and I'm going to see if I can find a little treat down here as they have little terrapins in this pond here. So let's see if we can see any today. Now we are at the warehouse at Lever in Dubai. So this is the warehouse and the uh, American uh, style bar and lot. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's the dance floor. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> What's the favorite drink? What's your best drink you can uh, make? Best drinking more than 30 draft beers on the tap. Many signature cocktails. So I'd <laughs> like to invite you. Thank so you. So we are waiting for you. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you. My two favorites would have to be Bebemos, which is the Spanish tapas place, and La Casa Mia, the Italian, which is divine. And it feels like you've just walked straight into a little Italy. Saturday night at Le Meridian. So let's go check out what they have on offer. I'm first off to Bebe Moss, which is my favorite Spanish tapas restaurant in the region. I love their octopus with potatoes. It is divine and I plan on getting some sneaky sangria to top that off. You do not even need to leave the hotel. It is all right here, just ready and waiting for you. I can honestly say that I found the in-room dining here at Le Meridian just as delicious, if not more, than the restaurants in the outside of the hotel. I have got the grilled prawns, which sounds small, but it comes with three massive king prawns. I've got the seafood salad, which is super crisp, very healthy, and not dripping at all in oil, just laden with flavor and really delicious. And a bread basket, which they have kindly provided on the house. So it's a really good meal. I'd highly recommend it. At least the dishes I've tried today, I've really enjoyed. This is such a lovely alternative to come back to after a day at the pool and you're after something quick, delicious and fresh. Um, I've really enjoyed my meal. I haven't tried many others from the menu, to be honest, but the ones I have, massive win. Well done, Le Meridian. Breakfast is also pretty special. Breakfast is available from 6.30 through to 11. It's 
huge and it's buffet style so there are people everywhere on a weekend. My one tip for you if you're coming on a weekend is to get there early. It will just beat that last rush of people who've decided to leave breakfast to the very last minute, 10 to 11. You'll find people rocking up expecting to have plates full of personalized egg dishes and all sorts of juices made for them at the time of closure. Anyway, just try and get here a little bit early if you can and you'll have such a nice experience, a lot more relaxed and calm. On a table and it is 6.30am. Check out how peaceful and quiet this place is. There is no one else here yet.